Okay, so there was a poster that was asking a question. They wanted to know whether or not there was a uh, there was a reserve word that would give you the information for the open of the day and the close of the day, um, even though you're on the one minute time frame. And yes, there is. So this uh, the script that we have on here. This is something that um, we were doing from another poster. But let's go here. Let's go out to our development environment. And uh, let's open a new indicator. Now this guy is using it on the radar screen. So let's see if we can also do it for the radar screen. Guys, I don't really do anything with the radar screen, but um, open, open, high, low, close, daily. We'll do it that way. Uh, but we'll, we will make it available for the radar screen. Like I say, hopefully I can show you that it works there, but um, we'll do, we really don't need to use any namespaces at all. So all we need to do, as far as I understand for radar screen, uh, well, let's do it this way. Let's just print it first. So print, I'm gonna print the open D. That's all it is. And then it gives you the period to go. So we'll print it, um, we'll say open space that open. And then I think they were also looking for the close. Let me see if I can pull it up. They were looking for copy. This is what they were looking for. Run my indicator on the right of our screen with a woman's time frame. Uh, is there a reserve word that I can use to output daily, open, or close? All right, and so, yes, it's open D. All right, you also have D periods ago would be zero. Uh, so the zero periods ago will be the current day, right? So if you want to do it for the day prior, since you said the close, I imagine you want to at least do it for the day prior. So we do one day ago and one day ago. Okay, and then close that, verify that, come over here and do TSF. close okay hit that open the all right so you see we have the um, the printout so the previous days open was 5246 so this is 62 here so this is 61 and 61 opened that opened up at right here what is this level You see the day break here? That vertical line is the day break. This candle here, the open of that candle is 52.50. Uh, 52.50. What have I got here? Hmm, 52.46. Let's see, which of these is 52.46? None of them. Oh, this is, this line is six o'clock. Okay, so uh, even though this is, this is like the break time for futures, right? So futures, futures will um, close off at what? Uh, five o'clock and then they'll start back up at six o'clock. So. I guess this is, this is essentially starting at six. This just shows you the break time at six o'clock here. But if we're talking about the day and it's 24 hour um, range, then 24 hours is right here. So this candle right here. And this candle right here, the open is 52.46.50, right? So if we go to something like, um, Apple. All right, so Apple will have different um, open close days. So you see here that vertical candle is like the normal trading session, if you will, where it starts at uh, 930. 
So where it starts at 930, that open is 191.36. And if we go down, you see here the open of that prior day was 191.36. And because today is the second on Sunday, it does not have any any data for the day. So the prior day is this day, the May 31st. All right, so let's see what this looks like on the radar screen. Again, I don't use radar screen, so let's just see. Go to apps, and where is it at? Don't, 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 don't. Radar screen. Okay, we're gonna add Apple. And even though, and like I said, the original poster's uh, concern was that even though he was on the one minute time frame, he wanted to be able to access the open daily close. So we're gonna add a column and it is an indicator TSF. TSF open highlighted close daily. Unable to add it. Okay, it doesn't contain plot information. So like I said, I only printed on here. So what we need to do is do plot one and let's do open D of a day ago. And we'll call this, um, need any color plot 2 is going to be close D of one day ago um, previous close boom okay now I don't know if we can we might need to get back out of it so it can reload the information boom we got it there so TSF OHLC daily and yeah, we'll put it after the interval. Put OK. And so here you go. 19078, 191.34. That's for Apple. Um, is that what we had it on? Let's go all the way down. 191.46. What was the most recent one? 19078, 191.34. 19078, 191.34. Okay, and then you can also, like I said, you can change this to be in the open or the close from two days ago. And those numbers will change. Well, I guess technically two days ago, since today is Sunday, it would be Sunday, Saturday, Friday. So that still applies for two days ago. So now it should change for three days ago. three days ago change to negative one now I don't know what that's saying usually when you get a negative one that's saying that there was no valid data for three days ago let's put three days ago here and go down okay so for three days ago Unless, what happened three days ago? Let me see, let me go to the calendar. Three days ago, that'd have been zero days ago, one day ago, two days ago, three days ago. Thursday? Yeah, the market traded on Thursday. We go four days ago. still getting that negative one and this might just be a nuance of radar screen that I don't know anything about regular session Well, it doesn't even like it um, for three dar for three days ago on the print screen here. So, what is hmm? 
right click and then go to definition the difference in the five minute time frame it's not pulling the interval might be the five minute time frame but it doesn't have uh, enough days to look back yeah I think that's what it is and again not using the radar screen I wouldn't I wouldn't know that so how do we get more days in the data and AS to custom symbol now typically Typically, I hit Shift S on the other screen, but that doesn't work here. Nope, that doesn't work here. So, like I said, somebody who does radar screen would already know what to do here. I must already have, you know what, I wonder, I wonder if as the, as the study, I got to right click on the study. Double click on the study, right click on the study, hit studies, edit studies, TSF for all symbols, click that. Load additional data for cumulative calculations. I think this would help. What if we go a thousand bars? Can we go a thousand bars? Let's go a thousand bars. That's the only thing I can think that will do it that I've seen. Yeah, so if we go to a thousand a thousand bars back, that gives us enough bars to make the calculations for, um, you know, this number of days back. Uh, so yeah, it looks like that's going to be the solution there. Um, okay, well, I guess that's pretty much it. That's all the guy was looking for. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, or if you want any other tips or have any other um, indicators you might want me to get to the bottom of, by all means, put a comment, like, subscribe, subscribe, and join me on the Discord. We have a little bit more conversation about programming, that kind of thing on Discord. So I'm Eric. I'm out. Peace.